Let's start this chapter with an understanding of what cloud computing is. Today, cloud computing has become a buzzword. Most of the enterprises and small and medium business companies use this term probably without an understanding of it. In this chapter, we learn about what cloud computing is and what benefit it has to offer. Traditionally, if we ever have to build applications, we had to procure a lot of hardware. For example, you will need servers, you will need operating systems and their respective licenses. You will need firewalls, routers, switches, load balancers, databases, and the list just goes endless. And that means that you will need a lot of capital expenditure. Capital expenditure is the amount of money that you will invest initially to procure that hardware. On the other side, operational expenditure is what you will need to maintain that hardware. For example, heating, ventilation costs, electricity costs, human and manpower, payroll costs. All that is operational expenditure. With traditional computing, both CAPEX and OPEX, which is capital expenditure and operational expenditure, both of them were high. And today, with the advent of small and medium business companies and startups, we really do not have the scope to invest so much on the hardware or licenses for the operating system. So what do the startups do to provision their infrastructure to let the business run? What do they have to do? Well, they have to resort to something called as cloud computing. This is where the whole bunch of resources will run. So the startups will simply put the resources, for example, servers, storage, databases, networks, softwares, artificial intelligence and their respective analytics, everything into cloud. Cloud is nothing but a, a massive, huge, humongous data center that is maintained by the cloud provider. For example, Microsoft or Amazon or Google Cloud for that matter. And cloud providers will make sure that the services that are offered to you will have a faster way of delivery, they innovate faster, the resources will be flexible, and you can definitely scale the resources as and when you want. And the best part is the capex and opex really falls down exponentially you typically pay for the cloud services only what you use so you only will have very low operating costs your infrastructure will be running more efficiently and you can scale your business when it's required let's look at the definition of cloud computing now that we understand cloud computing definition of cloud computing is given by a body called as nist NIST is National Institutes of Standards and Technology and they, and they defined the definition of cloud computing in their publication 800-145. And here is the definition. It says that cloud computing is a model for enabling ubiquitous, convenient, on-demand network access to a shared pool of configurable computing resources that can be rapidly provisioned and released with minimal management effort or service providers interaction. What does it mean? It means that I, as a cloud user, should be able to create a virtual machine, create a server, storage, maybe an SSD or an HDD or any kind of application whenever I want it. When I want to provision them, when I want to create them, probably in the middle of a night, I get an idea and you want to create a server right then, you should be able to do it. You should not be calling up the call center of Microsoft or Amazon Web Services standing in the queue and when the call center executive picks up the phone, you then say, hey, can you help me create a VM? Make sure that has 8 GB of memory, that has 40 terabytes of hard disk, make sure that port 22 is open. We're not going to do that because today we have our own self-service provisioning portal where you can type in your user ID and password and then you enter into the world of cloud services provided by the cloud provider which could be Amazon, Microsoft Azure or Google Cloud. So you will be able to create resources as long as you have internet, as long as you have a device that supports a good browser. That's all you need to maintain the most sophisticated infrastructure in the world. So no more procurement of devices no more maintaining them you really do not have to pay the electricity costs or air conditioning costs it's all done by your cloud provider and they maintain it but you just have to pay as you use it it's more compared to the utility computing for example the electricity bills at your home that you get 
you do not pay the whole bill at once you do not pay for the transformer cost or the supply lines you just pay based on your usage this is, this is exactly what it is a simple analogy that can be used I'll also give you a simple definition that was given by uh, the federal CIO um, and here is the definition I would like you to read it give a minute and see how simplistically the definition of cloud computing has been brought up to you <laughs> 